Well, new at five, one local police force is spending their summer working to bridge the gap with the community. Today, Fort Valley Police Department held their black and blue community brunch. Our Carlos Stevens was there and joins us live from court, uh, Fort Valley. And Carlos, we understand you spoke to the police chief and what did he tell you? Guys, he says oftentimes when people see the community and police, it's something negative. But he's hoping today's event will change that narrative. Music, food, and games were all a part of Fort Valley's Black and Blue Community Brunch Thursday morning. The goal for the event is to build a better relationship between police and the community. Caleb Jefferson works with the youth in Fort Valley. He thinks events like today helps children see cops from a different perspective. I'm glad they can see these positive images and positive roles. Fort Valley Police Chief Anson Evans says he's not only looking to build relationships, but hopes this will create a hunger for the youth. I start looking for police officers when they're seven years old and raising them up because we have to groom them to be what we need to be. And with how society is today, a lot more kids need men as well as parents. Parents that will help steer children in the right direction and away from violence. Evans wants the youth to know it's not about thinking you're tougher than your peers. It's about this right here and, and this right here. You got to be able to think and you got to be able to talk to people. Jefferson is glad to know that officers in his community are meeting the kids where they are and not waiting. I believe it's very important for the law enforcement to um, be with the youth because as they get older, I believe they'll, those values that, that was with them as a child and in their youth, they will stick true to them. Evans added that they will be hosting their Youth Against Violence program here in the coming weeks. For more information on that, you can call the Fort Valley Police. For now, we're live here in Fort Valley. I'm Carlos Stevens, WGXA News, guys.